YouTube soy yo, DJ, tu gran amigo, tu anfitrión de DJ Pro Tube. Y hoy es un día especial. ¿Por qué? Porque tengo cerveza de México. Cerveza artesanal de México. Wait, oh, hold on a second, guys. I forgot. <laughs> you all don't speak Spanish. Well, maybe not all of you. Some of my uh, other Mexican friends out there, maybe you guys speak Spanish like me. But not everybody does so we'll go back to the old-fashioned good old English here in the US of A and why am I so happy well as your host of DJ's Brew Tube my family's up from Mexico and what does a beer geek like me want from Mexico I don't want any tequila I don't want any tacos no tortillas none of that stuff maybe you think of as Mexican mm-hmm what do I want I want Mexican craft beer real Mexican craft beer no Corona no Modelo none of that crap mm-mm no 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 we got the real deal I did the research, put the time in, and I had the family members go shopping for me. Gotta like that. Anyways, we got Mexican beer mail today. I got four bottles in here. Looks like uh, we got three 12 ounces and a 22 or something. They didn't tell me which ones they got for me because they wanted to be a surprise. I gave them a big old list. They did their shopping. They found what they could. Got to like that. Anyway, let's get the old uh, package opener out. A little razor knife. And see what we got in this one. As you see, they're packed really nice. No leakers at all. Came all the way from South Mexico in Merida, in the Yucatan. So let's see what we got here. Get this one open. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, this brewery's out of uh, Baja, I believe, that kind of area. I have to research it again. It's been a little while since I looked at this. But the brewery is um, Cerveza uh, Cucapa. Mm -hmm. And this one is green card and this is a barley wine and here it says 10 percent alcohol by volume this is a pretty strong strong beer here we'll have to see what this is i remember looking at this i think maybe on beer advocate or one of those you see we got the whole top taped up no pop offs on this one guys anyways um pretty highly rated so that's the first one up Kukapa green card of course you know we're going to do reviews for these for you guys so let's see what we got here and these are packed well. Do a little bubble pop action here. Ah, oh. okay. This one is um, let's see, calavera, which is like a like skull, mm -hmm. calavera. And this is Mexican Imperial Stout. Mm -hmm. 100% authentic artisanal beer or you know craft beer that they call it down there. Um, I don't remember what the alcohol by volume on this one. I think this is like an eight or ten percent one. Also rated really high. Look at that, taped up, no leakers, guys. This is how you pack beer. The uh, father-in-law came through for me. Anyways, next one up. Let's see. Looks like another Calavera beer. Let's see what we got. Ah, yes. And this is um, Calavera Smoky Scot Scottish Ale. So sounds like it's got some smoke in it. It's a Scotch ale with some maybe peat smoked malt or something in it. Um, this looks like a like about 11.2 or um, maybe a 12 ounce bottle. Looks like there's a nice skull on the cap. You can't see it's so the skull that's like on here. These this is one of the more famous breweries that people may know or maybe have come in contact with. These guys are out of Mexico City. So they have a little bit broader distribution, but still a really tiny brewery, all that. In Mexico, it's still like it was kind of here in the early 90s. The big breweries like Modelo and, and those guys down there in Bohemia, they control the world down there. It's all macro lager all the time. So, anyways, let's get to the next one. The craft beer industry is still growing down there. And um, we like that. Uh, <laughs> this is an awesome brewery here, guys. These are these guys. Yep. All right. Now, looks like we've got a 12 ounce bottle here. This beer here is by a cerveceria called La Chingoneria. What does Chingoneria mean? It means really fucking good brewery. I mean, gotta like that. Really fucking good brewery. What more can you want? This one is a famous beer, really, because it just won a gold medal in chocolate beers and things of that sort. Um, it's called Admila Rusa, like mm, make me a Russian. Okay, and sounds like it's a sort of stouty, chocolatey beer, but I know it beat out a local Baltimore beer recently. Um, and like the chocolate beer category was X1 by, um, who was that, by Duclaw. 
and they got the silver medal. These guys got the gold medal. So, man, they're coming up. Brand new brewery, tiny, tiny little brewery. All these guys are really small. These, this one, Quipaca, is a little bit bigger. And they, all their beers are kind of cool because they're named like uh, Green Card, Low Rider, Bracero. Bracero is a guy who like carries a bunch of stuff on his shoulders, you know, like a laborer kind of thing. But they all, they're, since they're real close to California, they kind of have that like um, illegal immigrant theme going on in their beers. But anyways, four solid beers, guys. We're going to review these. I'm sure um, Johnny's coming over tonight. I'm sure he's. we're going to have to have Bare Knuckle Brawl over these beers because he's going to want to have at them. So we'll see you on the next day. DJ's uh, BrewTube, thanks for joining me for my fun unboxing. I've been waiting for weeks for these beers, and we're going to enjoy these together, guys. Until the next time, remember, think globally. We're thinking globally. Drink locally. Support that craft beer movement. And that's a peace out. Adios, amigos.